Why do fingers and toes wrinkle in water? The wrinkles that occur in skin after prolonged exposure to water are sometimes referred to as pruny fingers or water aging. There are various theories for why fingers and toes wrinkle in water. One of the theories suggests that wrinkling is a part of evolution of human beings which provides improved traction in wet conditions and a better grasp of wet objects. However, a study done in the year 2014 showed no improvement of handling wet objects with wrinkled fingertips. Furthermore, the study didn't find any connection between fingertip wrinkling and touch sensation. Most biologists suggest that the tough outer layer of skin made up of dead keratin cells is responsible for wrinkling. But the answer lies in the formation of our skin. Our skin has three layers. Hypodermis, which is the innermost layer. Dermis, which is the middle layer. This layer contains blood vessels, hair roots, nerves, and sweat glands. And epidermis, which is the topmost layer. The epidermis is again made up of many layers. The stratum corneum is the outer layer of our skin, the part that we can see and feel. This is the layer with the dead keratin cells. While a person is in water for a long time, the dead keratin cells absorb water. This absorption causes the surface area of the skin to swell, but the outer layer is tightly attached to the living tissue. So, to compensate for the increased surface area, our skin wrinkles. So why does this not happen to other parts of the body? Because the hands and the feet have the thickest layer of dead keratin cells as our hands and feet are subjected to a lot of wear and tear. Imagine if the palm of our hands and skin were as thin as our face. No fun in riding a cycle or playing basketball with skin that thin. However, scientists are not fully convinced with the water absorption theory. One of the reasons is that people who have a malfunctioning nerve in their toes or fingers wrinkle differently in water. This shows that wrinkling has connection with nervous system and blood vessels. This theory is being researched and is called vasoconstruction.